Hey, welcome back once again, all my CISSP wannabes. Please pardon my absence for a while. I got crazy busy making the donuts there for a little bit, but I'm back now. So let's do it. Air day. Two questions to help you get ready for your CISSP. Here we go. All right, first question coming at you today, direct and straight to the point. My question to you is, which of the following are not, not, not characteristics of Kerberos? There's your answer choices. Click on pause if you need to. Think about it. When you're ready, click play. We'll talk it through. All right, choice number one, Kerberos uses symmetric keys to secure session tickets. That is a decidedly true statement. So therefore, it is not one of the answers that we're looking for here. We're looking for things that Kerberos is not. Second choice, provides for resource authorization. Um, that is not a characteristic of Kerberos. So in this question, that is what we're looking for. Kerberos is an authentication protocol. He is not an authorization protocol. So he deals straight up with um, authentication and authentication only. So any of that authorization talk, not him. So in this question, that's the right answer. All right, next choice says the Kerberos creates a capacity for single sign-on. That is decidedly true. So not the right answer here. Answer choice after that says that he leverages encrypted timestamps in order to mitigate replay attacks. That's also something that Kerberos does. So because we're looking for things that Kerberos is not, that's not one of the right answers. The next answer says that public keys are used to secure the TGT, the ticket granting tickets. That is not true. The ticket granting ticket is actually secured with a secret that the Kerberos server keeps to itself, and that secret is a symmetric secret. Uh, so uh, that is not right, which means it is the right answer on this question. So again, we're looking for things that Kerberos is not. And then the last answer says that it requires the principal and the server to trust the key distribution center. That is a true statement. Both of them have to trust Kerberos in order for any of this stuff to work. So the incorrect answers, which are the answers that we were looking for in this question, are that the uh, ticket granting ticket is secured with uh, asymmetric keys. That is not true. And that Kerberos provides a mechanism for authorization to access resources. That is also not true. So therefore, the true answers in this question, or the correct answers in this question. All right, next question, <laughs> simple question. Answer choices got a lot of words. Um, which of those is true? Click pause, read them, let me know. Click play when you're ready. All right, first answer choice says that an access control list is a list of permissions associated with a subject. Uh, no, an access control list is a list of permissions associated with an object. So that is not true. The next answer choice says that associated with an object, a capabilities list is a set of permissions granted to a particular subject. Uh, no, that is a very complicated statement and it is not correct. So, and, and capabilities list would be associated with a subject, not with an object. So this is not correct. The third choice here says that if you remove, or remove a user from an object ACL, it will always prevent the user from being able to access the object. That may sound compelling because you're probably thinking, oh, implicit deny or something like that. But remember that by virtue of group membership, an object can gain access, excuse me, a subject can gain access to an object. So just removing the user by the individual um, subject does not preclude it from always being able to be denied access to the object because group membership can create a situation where the subject once again has access to the object. Um, so not the right answer here either. Next to the last answer choice says that an access control list is effectively a column in an access control matrix. This is a true statement. Columns in an access control matrix are the respective objects in the level of access that corresponding subjects have to them, which is very much what an ACL is. Um, the capabilities table is more akin to the rows in an access control matrix. Remember, an access control matrix is a combination of both an access control list and a capabilities table. So in this answer choice here, um, that is a true statement, that first to the last answer. And everything that I just said also tells you that the last answer choice is not right because an access control list and an access control matrix are not the same thing. Uh, they are indeed different. In fact, an access control list is really just part of an access control matrix. 
Man, it feels good to be back in it. That's two questions down. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you loving on the like. On the like, not the one, the thumbs up one, not the thumbs down one. Don't click on the thumbs down one. Um, that's it. Two more questions tomorrow coming at you. Peace.